we're doing a little bit of shopping spree today. I honestly don't know how much I'm gonna get, but we're at this huge mall, South Center Mall in Seattle. And we're just walking around seeing all the shops, going in and out. So hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And without further ado, let's get right on into the shopping mall. They have an H&M home section at their H&M spot over here. I've never shopped at an H&M home. This is cute. I just got something marble though. Yeah. Yeah. Super cute. I am back from shopping. It's actually been a few days since I last vlogged, but um, I didn't get anything necessarily at the shopping mall, but I did go shopping a couple days before that and I got a ton of things. I also did a bunch of online orders, so I'm going to be showing you guys that. But um, a lot of this is just home decor. I'm going to link below anything that I can. I did get a couple things at like Home Goods and Marshalls. So I don't think I can really find them online. But they're really super simple pieces. So I'll try to find similar ones and link them down below. But here are the first things are the pillows. I wanted to go with a neutral theme. My whole entire room is pretty much neutrals. It's basically white, black, gray. And then it has like black accents and I'm trying to incorporate more silver. So we went with the gray on the bed. Um, I got these two little throw pillows from Marshalls. I want to say they were like 10 bucks, like for two of them. So either 10 or $20, I forget. But I wanted to get something a little lighter than the dark pillow. I just wanted to keep the bed like super, super neutral, you know? So I just stuck with the gray. My sheets are gray. My pillows are gray and white. My comforter is white so that's kind of the theme we went with. And then I also got this long pillow from Target. It's from the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia collection. Um, I really really like this. This has like the gray in it with the white. I want to say it's kind of like off-white compared to the comforter. It has these little stripes on it, some stitching and hair. <laughs> and then it has these tassels on all four corners. And these are gray as well. I really, really like this. I just wanted some, like, kind of like long pillow to just kind of complete the entire look on the bed. I think it looks really good. Not bad. I put this all together myself, so I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I wanted to get this little marble thing for my desk or switch it out on my nightstand. I'm not really sure what to do with this yet. I just thought it was really pretty, so I decided on getting it. Next, we're gonna go into unboxing all of my Amazon orders. So these are all the boxes I need to unbox. <laughs> Do I have a little bit of a Amazon problem? Probably. It's okay, it's good content. So let's unbox these. The first thing that I'm gonna unbox is obviously from Amazon, but this is actually for a future video, my closet organization video. I'm gonna be doing a whole small closet makeover. I've been talking about this for forever, but I am so excited to finally get these things. I did a ton of like research. I looked through a ton of inspo for small closets and I'm really excited for um, what I've envisioned in my head to come to life. So here's part one of my small closet haul. Actually, the safe is so easy. I don't need scissors. Okay. So just like the theme of my bed and basically my entire room, it is going to be gray items. So I got this hanging closet shelf. It's probably going to go towards the side of the closet. I just want to have a place to put my hats or any kind of accessories, especially for like the fall and winter time, scarves, gloves, hats, that kind of stuff. I want to have an easier access to those. So instead of having them chill up on the top shelf of my closet, I thought I would get some hanging shelves. I also got a couple storage baskets to put on the top shelf of my closet. I've always wanted all the baskets to look the same, to be like pretty consistent. And um, I think I found a really good basket set. Oh, this is gonna be nice. 
Oh, this is actually really spacious. Here's what the basket looks like. It's all gray and then it has some beige at the top as well as the rope on the side. This is gonna tie everything together. I'm really excited. But I just got some simple baskets. I ordered two. I might have to order two more depending on how I um, organize storage up on top. But I'm super excited. So I'm just gonna put this back because it gets crazy when I do unboxings. I'm looking to get like a small dresser, kind of like a, um, what do you call it? Like cubed organizer dresser type thing. I'll put a photo up on the screen. Um, I'm looking to get one of those. I'm trying to find one that's the right size just because um, the one that I'm really interested in is a little too big. But that is what I got for my small closet. So get excited for a closet makeover video coming up really soon. I want to say like the next month. It depends on when everything comes. That is package number one. Package number two is also a big one. Um, you can probably see it right here. I got a new stool for my makeup vanity area. So this is all gray and it has like silver as the legs. I'm going to unbox it and then... We're gonna put this together. Hopefully it doesn't take forever to put together. I highly doubt it because I've had good experiences with like Amazon furniture and just Amazon things in general. They're typically really easy to put together. So works for me. I just had a realization. I literally went from unpackaging online school supplies to now room furniture. How crazy is that? We love growth. Oh my gosh, I think this is already put together. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's already put together. Praise the Lord. Wait, that was like really not that bad. I thought I was gonna have this whole building process. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. This is so cute. Okay, this is like all I've ever wanted in a makeup stool. I was kind of concerned about getting a new makeup vanity stool because I'm like, I really want to upgrade to a stool, but I also am going to miss the back of my chair. I have like this blue old fold-up chair and I really like the back of it because when I do my makeup, I'm literally just chilling and I'm like laying back and like sometimes I even do like Zoom calls from my vanity. And unfortunately, this does not have a back. So I might miss the back. I might not, but this feels really comfortable. But I'm going to put this where my vanity is and we're going to try it out and hopefully it's like the right size and like height. Because I don't want this to be too low either. So let's go check it out. Goodbye, old chair with a towel on it. <laughs> and hello, pretty gray poof. Ooh, let's do a little sitting test. Okay, this is cute. I can sit here. This is actually, this might be a little taller than the blue folding chair. This actually feels super comfortable. I really like this. I can just sit here. What's up, guys? Here's my makeup tutorial. And it's so comfortable. I could sit here for an hour doing my makeup if I really wanted to. And it's just, it fits my butt right. And then once I'm done doing my makeup, I can just push it in. And there's no like wasted space out here. We love, I really love it. 10 out of 10. And I didn't even have to put it together. So 11 out of 10 for that. Also, look at the unboxing mess behind me. But I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then we're gonna unbox that final box right there. Okay, I am literally sweating right now because I just like put everything away and kind of organized it messily, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox the last thing. This actually came like just a few hours ago. I'm like, hopefully this arrives on time when I'm filming this video. This is literally all over my Pinterest feed right now because fall is rolling in and I suck at opening boxes. <laughs> And I'm so excited to decorate this. You have, and I'm so excited to decorate with this. You have no idea. Oh, I thought there was something. Wait a dang minute. Is this really how tall it is? I don't think it'll be that bad, but. Oh, this is so cute. I ordered pompas this is how it came in oh my gosh i'm so excited i don't want to unbox like 
it entirely because it's all wrapped up. But you know like the little fluffy wheat things you see on Pinterest? I bought that. It kind of looks like a little um, Swiffer duster thing, but I'm going to be DIYing a um, little vase with my mom. We're going to do it like terracotta style because I definitely want to add some texture into my room. So this is going to be on my nightstand. This is actually the perfect height now that I see this because... Um, because the vase is gonna go in, it's gonna go fluffy. I'm so excited for this! Oh my gosh, I never like have like flowers or like plants in my room. I do have my baby succulent, which is still growing, but this is gonna be so exciting. Obviously this is a fake pompous, it's not real, but I'm so excited for this. So shout out to Perfect Pompous AZ. Is this from Arizona? Okay guys, I have been wanting to move to Arizona for like over a year and I keep seeing signs of like Arizona. That's crazy. Definitely stay tuned for a future vlog where I decorate my room for the fall or when I do the DIY vase because once that's done, then I'll include this. And then also my makeup organizer, which is currently gold right now, I'm gonna spray paint black. So I just have a lot of fun like little projects I'm doing right now and I'm so happy I got to unbox some of the home decor for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this haul. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every single Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific, except for last week. I missed that one last week. But um, also, if you want to follow my other social medias, they will be linked down below, as well as everything I just bought in this video. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog next week. Bye!